Oh no, what's this? <laughs> hmm. That is a lot of people. That is a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> this is de that's depressing, actually. Why toilet paper? I don't know. Do I mean, people. I think it started off as there was like a couple crazy people that are like, "Oh my God, I need toilet paper." But then the normal, quote unquote, normal people are like, "Oh my God, the crazy people are taking toilet paper. I need to get. I need to get a bunch before all the crazy people take it." And then it just spiraled. <laughs> Getting the toilet paper. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine. Imagine if the toilet paper is actually spreading coronavirus. And then and then you got the people with bidets that are just laughing. And the people like me who, you know, have enough toilet paper. Everyone's like, oh, the toilet paper companies are making out, like bandits or something. And they're really not, because everybody's just going to have toilet paper forever, right? Like, I feel like this would just end up being, they'll get a lot of money now. And then not a lot of money until it all evens out. Yeah, no, it's like, it's, just a, it's in a weird spot because the coronavirus is definitely... <laughs> it depends on who you ask. Some places are blowing it out of proportion, and some places are, like, making it out to be nothing. When it's definitely neither of those. It's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to be working from home this Friday, but are actually not going to work and are going to be playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm totally working. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be grinding Twitch, but not any more than I normally would, just because I, I basically... I mean, I guess I could stream more than I do, but it'd be like... I like having days off. I don't want to be streaming literally every single day. If I stream during the workday, you're telling my manager, I won't stream during the workday. <laughs> my sleep... my stream schedule isn't changing. As far as we know, the coronavirus cannot be transmitted through a Twitch chat. Chat, if you had to, and I guess this goes double for those who've like, well, no, this goes just for anybody who's played the game. Um, if I was to play Pikmin, which one should I start with? Not saying I'm going to do it anytime soon. But first one, because it doesn't have as many Pikmin to think about. Oh, okay. So it's easier to like manage everything. Is it one of those things though, where if I play Pikmin 2 first, I'll never be able to enjoy the first one? Because quality of life stuff. Because that was definitely me going from playing The Witcher 3 to trying to play an earlier trying to play The Witcher 1. Actually, at that point, it wasn't even quality of life. They were just, like, completely different games. Okay, okay, so it's like two is better, but should probably start with one. I actually, it, outside of speedrunning, I actually get super stressed when get, games give me a time limit. I want to be able to take my time. <laughs> now, even if, the time li even if the time limit is, like, way more than you actually need, like, that's how I felt playing... I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to have it again. Um, so Majora's Mask. I have played it before but I never beat it. And whenever I was playing it, even though you have like an absurdly large amount of time, I still was like, oh my God, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I think it just depends on the person. I, I like self-imposed time limits more, more than required ones, AKA speed running. I did not get spike shield. Um, where, what am I doing? Dude, do I just reset? I think it might be fast. I think it's faster to get it on the way out at this point. I legit just completely forgot I needed spike shield. No, you know what? No, you know what? We're not gonna get it. Nope, that's gonna mess me up. Cause I'm not gonna, uh. So I have a few options here. I could do an alternate strat for junior. Cause we only need spike shield for one battle. And I keep going the wrong way. Yeah, because I get, <sighs> No. No, see, the problem, as much as I would have loved to continue and then, you know, get to use a coconut on Junior, and overall that would only waste like four seconds, but it, it would end up wasting even more because then my badge menu would be different because I'm missing a badge, and all of my, like, I'm able to menu so quickly, so quickly for the badges because I have them, like, pre-planned out and I just read off my notes what buttons to press, and so that would be a, put another way that I'd lose a bunch of time. And then paper jam. Oh my god, I still... <laughs> no, I almost forgot it again. And then I tried to... Oh my god, I'm mad. Yo, you want to know a fun fact, chat? This is an actual fun fact. So this wall, you know how you blow it up? And then you see how there is rubble on this side? Well, you can also blow it up from the other side. And then the rubble appears on the other side. 
So there's a flag, uh, there, there's a permanent flag in the game that gets set to say which side the rubble appears on for the rest of the game. Dude, Minato, I, I know for a fact that I went home. You remember how uh, at GDQ we just kind of had like a bunch of pro controllers lying around and we're like, ah, I don't know who's is who's. So just t we all just took one. I definitely didn't get mine and I don't know whose I got, but whoever's I got, the buttons were sticky. Like I straight up had to open it up and like clean out the buttons. <laughs> Actually, no, technically I got Sticker Star for free. I made, I went to a retro game store and made a bunch of purposes, purchases, I can say words. Like, I, I think it was like, I ended up picking up nine games and I was completely unaware of the fact that the store had a prom promotional deal or some, maybe it's long standing, I don't know, where if you buy eight games, the ninth one is free and the cheapest one and st paper, uh, Sticker Star was the cheapest one. So I got it for free. If I'd known that I probably would have gotten something else, but. <laughs> The only reason I even bought it is because I wanted- I'd never played it before, and I was just like, is this really as bad as everyone says it is? It is. Because I hadn't- because I'd only ever heard secondhand that it was bad. I'd never tried it. Now I can say wholeheartedly that the game is trash. Because that the problem with routing- okay, so when you're routing most categories in this game, your bait- the mindset is kind of like, okay, I have this to work with. What can I do with this? And you usually don't really have that many options. And if you want to do more, it's like, okay, well, I have to go out of my way to get this if I want to do this strategy. Is it worth the extra time? And so it's a lot more calculated like that. The problem with routing Glitchless Hundo is that especially around the time you start getting to Chapter 4, you're like, I have 3,000 different options I can pick now. Like, which one do I pick? And whichever one I pick has huge implications down the line. So it's like... You know, if you want to test one thing, you have to time, uh, like, all of these different scenarios if you want to figure out what's faster. And it just gets, like, so absurdly complicated so quick. But you're not... <laughs> breakfast, breakfast buffets are delicious. But again, there's no reason you can't have that later in the day. I've had... I've gone to breakfast buffets for lunch. I Amazing! That was the most beautiful movement I've ever seen. All facts of life come from Shrek. Hmm debatable but i don't know enough about shrek to dispute it overwatch the like two games of uh competitive overwatch i tried to play <laughs> just made me angry i found i'm not a competitive multiplayer type person i do not enjoy it although playing with friends is fun and i i have friends now that play overwatch that if i wanted to they would like play with me but not fun. I think I had fun whenever I, the reason that I bought Overwatch is because I was playing with a group of like at the time co-workers. And so that was fun. But then we didn't play together anymore. Uh, and then it was not fun because I was by myself. I do not enjoy Overwatch by myself. Even just casual, like non-ranked, I guess. At Jacob, get more viewers. Yo, at everybody not watching my stream, watch my stream, please. Thanks. <laughs> Win VIP? No, I'm definitely not gifting out mods to people. <laughs> like, you know, it's funny, but no, definitely not actually doing that. Starburst jelly beans, though, Sartaglo. Have you tried Starburst jelly beans? If you haven't, you need to. They're life changing. Starbursts are good, but they're nowhere near as good as the jelly beans. And you can at me about that one. Gast. I haven't gotten the swag block yet. Like, you can block the wind. In addition to, uh, like, so in addition to having it, you know, choosing the damage here, I could, I could make this four by, uh, hitting the block. Ah, it's late. Rip. Yo, three cat me, you won't. gonna quit after the split anyway so it's not a big deal i actually kind of wanted him to but that's amazing that was that was good i want to see exactly what the time loss is though yeah 49 honestly like i lost 50 seconds that's not even you know if you're a beginner and you lose 50 seconds to a three cap that's you know it sucks but it's not the end of the world Menu is three -capped. <laughs> dude i challenged him i challenged him and he's like you know what i i got you 
<laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be a good place to call it for stream tonight. If I'm being honest, getting three caps on how far to do it. Sorry. All right, I'll be back tomorrow uh, with more glitchless. Hopefully runs go slightly. This run had a three cap and third try speedy spin. I mean, come on game, like work with me here. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.